first, let's pale up our skin quite a few shades and get flawless looking skin by using a full coverage foundation. First, just applying it with my fingers before I move on to a brush. When using a lighter foundation, make sure you set it with a powder so it looks smoothed out and that it works with your skin tone. I am taking an eyebrow gel on a flat liner brush and going to change the shape of my natural brow. Wednesday Adams has a straighter looking brow compared to me, so I'm trying to take out a little bit of my arch and create a more flattened out look to the tail of my eyebrow. Next, I'm going to use a little bit of concealer to help that straightening out eyebrow look. Really the key to this look is a lot of paleness and then contouring with a warm toned shade. So here I'm taking on a fluffy brush and really focusing this color around the eye. We want our eyes to look really sunken in. So by doing this, focusing a lot of the product on that inner corner and underneath the eye as well so that it creates a lot of shadow there. I'm also going to contour a little bit of my nose to give it a more slimming effect like hers and then going to carry it underneath the jawline to really accentuate the cheekbones. If you feel like you've applied too much, then go ahead and go back in with your light foundation to just correct any sort of the center area or parts you want smoothed out. Now I'm going back to the eyes. Since we created an outline, I wanted to make the eyelids pop with a cream eyeshadow. Just a matte one to emphasize the eyes a little more so they don't look so bare. There's not a lot of shine or a ton of color to Wednesday Adams' lips. I did notice a neutrally and orangeness to her lips, so I chose the perfect lip liner just to fill in, and this is going to act like my complete lip look. I'm not even going to use a lipstick or a lip gloss because we want this look to look very matte and kind of dead-like. The best part about a Wednesday Adams inspired look is you probably have the clothing in your closet without even realizing it. I just took a regular crisp blouse and buttoned it all the way to the top and then once I did that I grabbed a black cardigan because how do I not have a black sweater? It beats me. But I just made a cardigan and buttoned it all the way to the top. And then here I applied my wig cap in black because my wig is also black so having them match helps disguise your natural hair the best. And then here I am applying the wig, which has the two very notorious braids that she wears and this very evil look to her. And you can easily just braid your own hair if you don't want to use a wig. I did because I've dyed my hair recently and I thought it just enhanced the effect more. And that is going to complete this Wednesday Adams from the Adams Family Halloween tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more Halloween tutorials and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!